First and for a huge step forward in the fight against HIV is happening right here in San Antonio. The National Institutes of Health has awarded over $8 million to the Texas Biomedical Research Institute to collaborate with a company in Switzerland to study a vaccine to protect against HIV. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker explains how this new vaccine would work. The ultimate goal is uh, to give this, especially in the developing world, as a needle-free vaccine that can be given through mucosal roots without injections. Not only would this new vaccine be needle-free, but in a powdered form would not need refrigeration. This is a major advantage if you're thinking about practical aspects of vaccination in the developing world, especially sub-Saharan Africa. According to the CDC, 36.9 million people worldwide were living with HIV in 2017. In the U.S., an estimated 1.1 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2016, the most recent year for which this data is available. I want to see that this HIV AIDS epidemic is stopped and we need a vaccine to do this. Right now, the task is to test this vaccine in non-human primates. The reason those animals need to be used is simple. We need to have an animal model that replicates the biology of HIV transmission and disease progression in people. This is an HIV virion or virus. It attaches to this host cell initially by connecting to something called a CD4 receptor. From there, it makes its way into the cell, pulling the viral and cellular membranes together fusing them, allowing the virus to replicate. This vaccine aims to attack this part of the virion. It's called the envelope, so it never has the chance to latch onto the cell in the first place. We will translate a very promising vaccine concept within five years into a clinical trial. And with successful clinical trials, this new concept vaccine will be delivered to people around the world, putting an end to the spread of HIV and AIDS. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.